Hey, it's Kevin. Thanks for stopping by. It's another Road Warrior video blog. In one of my previous road trip Road Warriors, who say that three times fast, uh, I was talking about some of the icons of my youth, the youth, the Stuckies and the Skelly gas stations and, and, the, and the Hojos and the things that are long, Howard Johnson's, and the things that are long gone. And it got me to thinking, today's kids, well, I know it's a different experience, you know, driving across country or driving on a long trip. My nieces and nephews do it all the time when they go from Indiana down to, to well, northern Florida, down to the Panhandle, going to, you know, southern Alabama to Mobile or whatever for vacation. I, I don't think they really pay attention to what's going on around them. Because I guess, and it's nothing against the truck stops, it's nothing against Pilot, it's nothing against McDonald's, but, you know, I remember as a kid, if you saw a McDonald's, you were excited. Now I don't think you can go two or three exits down the interstate without a McDonald's, so it's not quite as special. I was talking to my mother about that when I was visiting with her in Florida. My mother worked in fast food for a bunch of years. It was a, a good job that was steady, it wasn't the greatest pay, but she was able to get out of the house to work and still be able to be, you know, a housewife. Not that it's a bad thing, but th that was her preference instead of being working in the bank or the candy store like she used to. So she ended up in fast food. And for a bunch of years, when we, I, think, I forget what we figured out, it was like five, six years when we lived in Virginia, she worked for Arby's. And we were talking about that. And it was amazing that when she worked for Arby's in the late 70s into the early 80s, in, in Norfolk, Virginia, Virginia Beach, the, the Hampton Roads, Tidewater area, whatever you want to call it, a, a big metropolitan area, you know, 35th, I think, 35th biggest metropolitan in America, there were maybe only four or five Arby's all around town. Now, I, I think there are probably 30, if not more. And McDonald's, even more. You know, and, and it's funny how when we went to Arby's on vacation in California in 1974 and we ate in the car, which was a Pinto station wagon we rented, by the way, when we went from San Francisco to L.A., it, it was special. Now, let's be honest. Is road tripping on vacation and eating in the car at Arby's a big deal? Not that I could tell you I had a roast beef sandwich and potato cakes and, and I believe a Jamocha shake. I think that was the first time I had a Jamocha shake and I was, what, 13? And, and I still love them today. I mean, again, it, it's memories. It's, it's, I think, something that was of my generation that will be lost on our youth. And I, and I guess that's the one thing about the generations. We all have special memories of our youth that aren't shared with any other generation. My parents, I mean, generation, I mean, my father's almost 80, my mother's in her mid-70s, and their recollections pre-interstate highway, pre-driving around, you know, I mean, the amount of driving I do just baffles my father. I've got a car that's a little over a year old and has almost 40,000 miles on it. I do a lot of driving. Now, some of that was, was extra special driving because of trips to Ohio to move and things like that, but, my father's got a car that's, I think, two or three years old now, and he may have 6,000 miles on it. Now, he is retired. He doesn't like to drive quite as much, but I can't even imagine. I still put on a few hundred miles every week just going nowhere, and I work out of my house. I always still like to get in there and drive and mix it up and, and do my thing, and I think that's, you know, part of my memory base. That's, I guess it's not the same for all generations. Does that make any sense? Again, I'm waxing poetic. I'm feeling kind of nostalgic. It's it's the road trip in me. I don't get a road trip as often as I want to anymore. And that's actually good because it takes me a while to recover from the road trips now. I can still do 12 hours in, a, in one fell swoop. I could do 16 hours. And I've done 16, 18 hour stints before. When we went from Florida, from Fort Myers to Akron years ago, that was like a 17 hour trip. And I just strapped into my Ford Explorer and we went. I was having some back issues. And I didn't like doing 17, 18 hour trips, but I could do it. And when I was doing the double from, from Tennessee to Ohio, I'd drive up to Ohio, do what I had to do, and then turn around and drive back. That was a 16-hour trip. A couple of years ago, three, four, five years ago, I could do it. I don't know if I can do it now. But this 12-hour journey, ah, it's no big deal. It's fun. I, I want to do it in the middle of the night. I like the night drive. My wife's not a big fan of that, so I acquiesce and, and do the daytime thing. Plus, I still haven't figured out to this day how to do Road Warrior videos in, in the middle of the night. Yeah, the, the lights, I'm sure, would just mess everything up, and I'm sure the police officers wouldn't be too happy with that, which I don't blame them. But don't think for a minute I haven't thought about it. If I could figure out a way to do road, road videos during the middle of the night, you know I would. I could hook up lights in here somehow. See you next week, another Road Warrior. KevinMason.us, that's our website. We're on YouTube, Kevin Mason Music, my username there. And on my Facebook fan page, if you will, and I don't have a lot of fans. You can be a fan if you want, but I don't care. They're there, you can still watch them, though. It's just a place to put them on Facebook. The Kevin Mason is where I'm at on Facebook. See you next week. Thanks so much.